Hello and welcome. My name is Ian DeNovo and what I will be doing in this video tutorial is going over the introductory issues related to employee versus independent contractors. Now these issues are pretty prevalent in the Canadian small business landscape and we get lots of questions with regards to this particular issue. So what I've done here is I've created a little introductory video tutorial and on my website we go over these issues in a lot more detail. So why don't we get started? Now, you are probably looking at hiring somebody or paying somebody to work for you. So that being the case, there are two categories of relationships you can have with these people. The first being an employee with all of the obligations and administration that goes along with having a payroll and employees and so forth or you can choose to treat them or hire them on as subcontractors or sometimes they're referred to just as contractors or independent contractors. Now let's go over some of the differences here. With an employee you will be setting up a payroll for your company if you don't already have one. So employees are paid via payroll. You put them on your company's books and issue them a weekly, bi-weekly or twice a month uh, paycheck and along with that you have to make deductions for them so you have to do deductions for CPP you have to deduct their employment insurance and of course you have to deduct tax and on the 15th of each month or another date depending on how big your payroll is you will be remitting that information off to the Canada Revenue Agency and finally at the end of the year you are responsible for filing a T4 slip for the employee uh, to the employee themselves and of course filing that with the Canada Revenue Agency with subcontractors, it's a totally different story. A subcontractor, you do not have to open a payroll account. You don't put them on payroll. You don't have to make any remittances for them because the fact is that if they're subcontractors or independent contractors, they are running their own small business. So if they're running their own small business, they can't be working for you. So thereby, you shouldn't be deducting any sort of remittances for them. Now, of course, <clears throat> businesses prefer contractors. And why is that? Well, the costs are much, much lower. What will happen with an employee is, while you are remitting their CPP and EI, there's a payroll tax for the business owner. So you will have to match the CPP for an employee and remit 1.4 times the employment insurance premiums that you withheld from them. So as you can see, there are additional costs. Over and above that, you would have to register with the Workers' Safety Insurance Board or the you know, Workmen's Compensation, as it's sometimes called, the WSIB. And of course, that's going to have insurance premiums that go along with it. And of course, you are responsible for things such as vacation pay, stat holiday pay, uh, any other benefits that you might, uh, you might have for employees. So of course, the cost is much, much higher with an employee. And of course, with contractors, administration is quite simple. You don't have to worry about payroll. You don't have to worry about filing T4 slips. All you do is simply pay your contractor's invoice, and that's it. You're off and running much, much, uh, much, much uh, simpler. And as we mentioned, why is it cheaper? There's no CPP for the business. There's no EI for the business, no WSIB for the business, and no other taxes and benefits. So you'll notice that if you do some research into these amounts, these can be quite substantial. And in some cases, they could add up to, you know, I'd say a minimum of 8% over and above the hourly wage for the employee, right up to you know, maybe even 15%, depending on what industry you're in and what business you're in. So once again, having a employee is a more expensive proposition than just hiring a contractor. So there you go. You're probably thinking, well, perfect. I'm going to go out and I'm going to transfer all of my employees over to contractors and I'm never going to hire another employee. I'm just going to uh, pay everybody as a contractor. Well, be careful. There are very, very... Uh, there's, you have to be very careful. There are a lot of risks involved with paying employees as contractors. If they're really determined to be employees and not contractors, well, you could be in for some pretty hefty assessments from the Canada Revenue Agency. So you can't just hire somebody as a full-time employee, say they're running their own business and pay them as a contractor. And in other tutorials on my website, we will go over all of the details with regards to these issues and if you are going to hire contractors, then we will go over the methodology of doing that properly and avoiding any sort of risk. 